Hi guys, you're watching Adventure Alchemists. Today we're going to be mixing up around Old Street. Old Street has got plenty of things to do, so many places to see. Today we're just going to give you a taster of that. So as always, our cocktail will consist of good food, fun activity and some refreshing drinks. Let's do it. Flight Club. The first rule of Flight Club is that you must drink. The second rule of Flight Club is that you must drink. But Flight Club is basically modernized darts. But here they've actually got computerized screens that do the calculations for you. So it means you can actually drink lots and not have to worry about maths, which is fantastic. Last week we went to Borough Market, we went to the chili stand and we picked up a 8 out of 10 hot scale chili. I'm guessing that's pretty hot. And here's the bad boy right here. There he is. Loser takes all. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. With the chili on the line, I was determined to win this time round. However, an early win for Gemma didn't set my hopes high. <laughs> First go. I'm just a pro, what can I say? Watch out, Dan. Watch out. Darts done, and yes, I won. It means a chili for Gemma. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to it. I mean, he's such a big baby in that as well. I'm really not looking forward to it. Now, usually we go to one place for food and a different place for our activity, but this place is such good food that we're doing both at Flight Club. Uh, here you can get some great sharing platters, you can get some uh, pizza boards, and you can get some burgers. And it is going to be epic. This is all mine. <laughs> all for me. So this bad boy, we've got barbecued chicken with some barbecue sauce, caramelized red onion, and of course the cheese. Aye. The barbecue is really sweet, but in a really good way. Thin base pizzas as well, love them. Really good. This place is famous for its pizzas and its darts, of course. You can see why. This pizza's good. It was time for me to eat my dreaded chilli. But where? It had to be somewhere with style. Tucked away in the mini labyrinth of Old Street Station lies a rooftop bar called The Magic Roundabout. It stays true to its name with its whimsical touches and the fact it is literally inside a roundabout. be able to tell it was located on one of the busiest tube stations in London. The people there were in no rush whatsoever, ready to sit, chill and drink. It's time for Jen to do her forfeit for losing, and that is the chilli. There's the boy. I'm not looking forward to this. I've had like a chilli once before, and it wasn't good. Good luck. She really got to rip it. It's really sharp. Go. The more 
I like break it down, the worse it gets. It's just hit my throat. Oh, far oh, out. Yeah. Are you okay? But it's hot. If I'm honest, I build it up to be a lot worse than that. Yeah, it's it's stingy and hot, but I don't feel like I'm dying, so. There we go. After our refreshing beers and Gemma's not so refreshing chili, we headed to a bar that we heard made some of the most inventive cocktails around. Nightjar. Okay, so this next place is proper hidden. You're going up Devon's Road for a beer at Google Maps. Said it was somewhere around here. We were literally standing right outside this door, like going, oh, you know, where is it? And then I looked up and saw the sign. <laughs> hey, you got to keep your eyes peeled, but when you're inside, you can sound things that should be worth it. Cocktails are actually set in terms of the time period, so you can actually get a taste of, for instance, early 19th century all the way back to the 1600s. In this one, it's called the Name of the Samurai, so Japanese inspired. Uh, Nikka whiskey from the barrel, popcorn tea infusion, fresh squeezed lime, Akasi Thai sake, Ume plum and galangal liquor, and then mirin and rice syrup with burnt bamboo shots, which was the actual infusion that got the everything going like a chemical reaction. Alchemy at its finest. <laughs> and then also get this uh, rice cake and wasabi piece to snack along with it, so good times. Ooh, it's unique. Definitely dominated by the whiskey in terms of its taste. Uh, Japanese whiskey is coming across quite close to bourbon, um, but then obviously you've got the, the, the fruitiness of the lime and everything coming through as well. So, yeah, refreshing. So I've got the Astro Aku Aku. This has to win the prize for the most funky looking cocktail ever, which has Mount Gay Black Barrel Rum, Akashi Thai Umeshu, your guess is better than mine, Apricot Brandy, Ripe Papaya Puree, and, and Pimento Bitters. Well, I don't know about you, but I don't know what half that stuff was. It's got some nutty flavours in there as well, so they say to have an almond afterwards. I don't know where to start. <laughs> It's so good, <laughs> so strange. It's not like any other cocktail I've had before, but it's really good. We planned for just one cocktail, but we couldn't resist ordering another. The menu is so vast and full of the most amazing cocktails we have ever seen. It deserves to be explored. Now's us mixing it up in Old Street. Obviously just a taster of what this amazing area has to offer. We'll be covering a lot more over the coming weeks. Thanks guys for watching and also we've got more of these coming so please subscribe to see more. See you soon. <laughs>